Hello everyone, welcome back to our designer lab. So today we're going to see how to change the initial appearance of images or vector files or the add text field. So let's see exactly what we're talking about. Let's try and upload an image. So as you can see, the image uploads in this particular size. For initial appearance, we need the size and the position that the image or the vector file or the text field appears in. We can change the size and the position of how this appears at the backend. So let's get straight to it. Let's go to our backend. Let's go to settings from MTV dashboard. Let's scroll down to image settings. These are the three options that we will work with. So as you can see that the default width option is already chosen. We'll change it to cover first and see what happens. Uh, the text field doesn't have the option for cover so we'll keep it as it is for now. Save the settings. And go to the designer now. Let's upload the image again. As you can see that the image covers the whole printing area. The printing area was the size of the images. And after we've chosen cover, the image comes up like this. So what cover does is that it stretches the image to cover the whole printing area according to its name. And in the process, it might also cut off parts of the image. So let's drag down the image. As you can see, the image is cut off from certain from four sides actually not from the four sides exactly just from these two sides exactly to cover the entire printing area so this is what cover does now let's see what happens when we choose fit let's save the settings let's Now as you can see the image comes up like this, it's a little bit different from the previous option. So what the fit option does is it will fit the entire image inside of the printing area contrary to the option cover which covers the whole printing area but in case of fit it doesn't cover the entire printing area its purpose is to fit the image inside of the printing area. So unlike cover it does not cut off any part of the image. So let's go back and choose the option margin now. As you can see that when you choose margin, this measurement box is also enabled. So here you can add your own measurement. You can also change the unit from pixel to percentage or any other unit that you want. I have chosen pixel because this will show the change properly. We've already chosen 20 pixels as our margin. So let's save the settings. Let's go to our designer tab. Let's upload the image again. As you can see that the image is stretched quite a bit and it also has a margin on four sides of it. So what margin does is and what the measurement in the margin does is it will as we've put in 20 pixel it will cut off 20 pixel of the entire printing area as margin from all four sides of the image. So these are some of the options uh, of how you can change the initial appearance of images, text fields and the vector graphics that you add in your designs. So hope this helps. Have a good day.